Before we dive in, there's going to be an exclusive link below for Saki Tech viewers for the Tab S9 Ultra with the following benefits. Instant free $50 Samsung discount only using the link below. And then all the usual benefits up to $650 in trade-in credits and also free 512 gigabyte storage upgrade. These are limited time offers during the pre-order phase, which ends on August the 11th. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about the multitasking capabilities on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. This thing is a multitasking powerhouse and there's so much you can do with it. And of course, in this video, I want to explore all those features that most people that are new to these tablets may not be aware of. So let's dive in and get all the necessary details about the multitasking capabilities. All right, the very first thing I wanna quickly talk about is how to quickly start a split screen multitasking session. So. I'm gonna launch the calculator right here. And let's say I want two windows on this screen. I wanna do it really quick. All you do is two fingers from the side, swipe right in, okay? And that is going to put this window right here and you're gonna get access to all your apps right over here from where you can launch a secondary app and that is gonna allow you to do multitasking. And then this bar at the bottom is gonna allow you to move it this way resize it or move it this way, resize it that way based on your needs. And you can always swipe one window away. So when you swipe that window away, now you have the original window right here. And you can also swipe this part away if that's what you wanna do. And of course you can do the same thing from this side. So swipe in, okay? And you can do it from this side as well. Any side works. By the way, when you have two applications side by side, just like this, you can grab any application from the taskbar and you can bring it to the middle to open that as a pop-up, which you can drag around and move around. And you can drag it around as you please and then tap right here uh, to minimize it for later use. We'll talk about that in more detail in a little bit. But one more thing that's very important is if you have two windows like this, you can drag and drop between windows. So here I have an email as an example. Let me just bring this down. And here I have some photos. I can drag these photos from this area to here into my email to put them as attachments. And that just makes life much easy. You can even select multiple files and drag all four at the same time as you just saw. You can drag and drop between windows across many supported apps. Now the next thing we wanna talk about is the taskbar. So you can see we have a row of applications at the bottom, okay? When you launch any application, that row of applications get dropped down and become a taskbar. And what you can do from there is you can grab any one of these applications and drag and drop right here to start split screen view. And then you can do the same things I showed you earlier. Now, one more thing, you can also do up to three windows. So I can grab one more application. Let me grab the calculator and I can put it right here. Now I can do three-way split screen multitasking. And then you can resize everything as you please based on your workflow, okay? So look at this. And on top of that, you can also tap this button here. The middle vertical line has an option hidden inside. So when you tap on it, you get a couple buttons and look at this, I can tap here and that rotates my workflow. So you tap it again and you can see we have all these different options. And even when you have the split screen this way, you can swipe it away and then you're gonna get this one right here, okay? Now with the taskbar, when you edit this taskbar at the bottom, it replicates the same one uh, over here, okay? So if I were to grab this application, drag and drop it right here next to the Netflix application, now when I launch it, you can see that is gonna be right there as well. And one more thing, at the bottom, you can have up to 14 apps or folders maximum. So let me grab this, put it right here. That's the maximum I can have for my taskbar. So wisely choose all the apps you wanna have right here so you can easily access them when you have the taskbar right here. Now, one more thing about the taskbar, when you have it at the bottom, if you wanna access any application that is not here, you can tap this button 
and that's going to give you access to all your applications that are installed on your tablet and again from here I can grab any one of those guys and drag it this way this way or this way I can even have a horizontal split screen multitasking if that's what you need but you do have access to all your applications now some people may not like the taskbar if you don't like the taskbar you simply go to the settings then you go to display and you scroll down where it says taskbar right here and you disable it and now that taskbar in fact disappears now one more thing i want to show you with the taskbar which is very cool is if i enable this i can also disable these buttons okay so if i disable the buttons by going to navigation bar and choosing swipe gestures so basically with swipe gestures this is what I have okay I can do things like this so that is gonna be the swipe gestures now in this instance when I do have the taskbar enabled with the swipe gestures on I can press and hold right here to make the taskbar temporarily disappear to get the full screen effect if I want to bring it back I do the same thing press and hold it comes right back so this hiding and unhiding the taskbar is only available if you go to the settings under navigation okay if you have chosen to use swipe gestures instead of the buttons the buttons always show up here that's the home button but if you don't want that which a lot of people don't then you just go with the swipe gestures and then you had have the additional options now one more cool thing if you have a split screen multitasking running let's do one more time Oop. let's grab another app here samsung notes dump it right here let's say you have a two-way split screen multitasking you use all the time you don't have to drag and drop the same windows to create the same workflow again you can tap this button and you can tap on the star icon and it's it's going to allow you to add an app pair to the home screen so add app pair to the home screen it's going to take samsung notes and the calculator it's going to create a pair it's going to dump it on the home screen so let's take a look at that okay so now uh where's that right there so when i tap on this one it automatically launches notes and calculator at the same same time now what if i wanted to do an app pair of three applications that's also doable i can tap on star and I can create an app pair of three applications. So tap on this guy, app pair added to home, close everything running in the background. So look at this, I have Samsung Notes, files and calculator, my workflow is saved. So if I wanna start doing something particular, boom, I'm good to go. When I tap that, I get that three-way uh, screen going on. And like I said, you can keep modifying this to find the perfect look and feel for your workflow and as you have your multitasking windows like this at any given time you you'll see that you have a bar on top of each of these applications bar bar that bar is tappable okay and what you can do is by tapping the bar you can close a window or by tapping the bar you can maximize a window all right let me just bring one thing back here or by tapping the bar, let me just have this here too. Let's tap the bar right here on top of this guy, the little uh, horizontal line. You can also turn this into a pop-up. So look at this now, this is a pop-up window that you can put anywhere that you want. And even as you have it as a pop-up, you can still tap on the bar and you can minimize it. Once you minimize it, it sits at the corner for easy access and I can do that with multiple applications so if I were to grab a calendar I can drag it to the middle to open as a pop-up by default all right and then I tap it on again and I can minimize it now it gets collected on the corner and you can access those two applications sometimes one application you don't need it too often but you still need it but you can work on two applications on this large display and when you want to access that quick application for a quick glance it's going to be right there as a pop-up when you're done you tap and you minimize it and you keep working and by the way even when you have nothing on your screen you can still 
start applications as pop-ups. So if I wanted the calculator as a pop-up, I would tap on it, it would launch in full screen, but from the corner, I can swipe inwards and turn this into a pop-up, just so you know. And I still can tap on the bar and minimize everything as I please and keep it on the side for quick access anywhere on the screen. Now the final thing I'm going to talk about, if you want to go even beyond this multitasking, you can always go to the settings and go into connected devices and enable Samsung DeX, which is something I talked about in a previous video, but when you start DeX, it transforms the tablet from a standard tablet into a desktop-like environment for maximum multitasking. Let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. I will drop a link to other video down below so you can see the details, but look at this. This is much like a Windows interface uh, over here that goes beyond regular multitasking. I have Windows just like I could have on a Mac or a PC, and I have unlimited Windows as you can see, okay? So that's gonna be up to you. You can always come to Dex and work as if you were working on a desktop PC for maximum productivity. When you're done with this, you tap over here, you tap on exit and it exits the desk mode, Dex mode and goes back into the Android mode, which is the one we've been talking about in this video. But that's just another layer of multitasking available at a tap. All right guys, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, drop them down below, let me know for now guys. Have a fantastic day.